Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you've put in my heart to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I am nothing but the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to tell you what happened to me yesterday. Uh, we went to morning church, like usual. We came home, and I, I went to bed. And uh, I slept for maybe a couple hours, and I, I had a restless nap. I woke up a couple hours later, about 4 p.m., and then I, I remembered that I had a very vivid and a very wild dream, and, and I had just had this dream, so it, it was very fresh in, in my memory. And this dream was, it was kind of shocking because it involved me. See, you see, most of my dreams, I, I'm only a witness to events, but this, this dream, I was a part of the dream. And considering the situation I was in, in the dream, I decided I had better not tell Bobby, and, and you'll see why. In my dream, I woke up, I became aware that I was in a, in a hospital emergency room in a bed. And I heard this feverish commotion going on around me. I heard a, a buzzer, a warning buzzer. And it just started blaring, buzzing. And I remembered thinking it was so annoying. I had one nurse at my side and she was working on me. She was doing something. I I, didn't, I don't know what she was doing. I, I had no feeling, so I couldn't feel anything. And I, I could not really see, but she was doing something to my at my side. Then two more nurses ran into the room at full speed. And they started working on me in a feverish pitch. They were literally a blur, grabbing things out of bins or small totes, and then they would throw the bins or totes on the floor in a panic. They were that focused and concerned and concentrating on what they were doing. All other considerations took a back seat. I could not tell what they were doing, but I could tell by their actions that what they were doing was critical to my life. Also, the look in their eyes told me that something had already happened, happened bad, but they kept working on me at a feverish pitch. Then I woke up, confused, not knowing what to think. I decided not to tell Bobby, as I didn't want to worry her, and I, I was actually thinking that maybe God was showing me or telling me that he was about to call me home. Now, most people, would uh, that would worry them greatly, but, but I was not worried. I, I, but then, at evening church, they were singing songs, and, and then I began to shake in the spirit all over my body. I shook, and I shook, and I prayed, and I prayed. I began to weep, and I had tears flowing down my face. Then the Holy Spirit came to me and told me about my dream. And he told me that it was not me, not me, laying in that hospital bed, but it was in fact the world. And it was the world that was flatlining. And the three nurses who were working on me were the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, trying desperately to save what they could. With signs everywhere, many people having dreams and visions, and now the watchmen had been called up because the church is dead. So yes, the world is on the gurney, in the hospital room, in the emergency room, and the buzzer, the warning buzzer is sounding. It's blaring, but is anyone listening? And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are working feverishly to save all that they can in these last moments that we have left. Time is almost up. The world is about to go terminal. And I do not want to be here for it. This world is not our home anymore. Thank God we have a merciful, merciful Savior in Jesus Christ who has promised us 
that he will save us from this dying world. And soon, very, very soon, just before this world goes terminal, we are going to, we are going to go home. So very soon, this race is almost over, and the finish line is coming into view. And Bobby and I, we will, we will see you on the streets of gold one day very soon. And yes, I did tell Bobby about my dream. But after the Holy Spirit revealed the, the meaning of, the, of my dream to me, now is not the time to deny Jesus in any way. So please carry your Bible every, everywhere that you can. And please say the blessing over every meal. And repent of sin every time you pray. And pray the blood of Jesus wash over you and wash all your sin away and wash you clean and wash you white as snow. Because today, sin is in everything. God bless you you and your family mightily bobby and i we keep each and every one of you in our prayers and if you hear the sound of my voice we pray for you with more love and more grace and love amen our time is short our time is short so short God bless you. God keep you each and every day. Amen.